Daniels. We've sent Richard Daniel to Samuel Ward Academy in Haverhill. You may remember that it had to close for a deep clean after an outbreak of coronavirus, but the head still thinks it's absolutely the right decision to keep schools open during the lockdown, and they're not going to let the pandemic stop their production going ahead. Andy Hunter knows all too well the threat the pandemic poses. In early September, eight of his staff tested positive for COVID-19. Ninety pupils went into self-isolation and the school had to shut for two days. It's meant much tighter rules. I think as a result of that we're probably one of the safest schools in the country now. So I need to be assured by staff that they have not been within one metre for more than a minute or two metres for more than 15 minutes of any child or any other member of staff. Um, and so far that's worked perfectly. Tonight, the first of three live performances of Little Shop of Horrors. No audience in the theatre, instead it will be streamed online. The production was cancelled back in March when all schools were forced to close. We just had to get it off the ground. We've had to change a lot of things. They're all blocked in their year group zones. And we had to make sure that when the chorus and all the students are on stage at the same time in, in the bigger groups, they have to be on for no more than three or four minutes. As soon as they get backstage, again, masks go on in their seat and plan. The first, you know, week of rehearsals, it was strange because obviously when you're singing, the face mask, it's, it's, it's in your face. So it, it was definitely strange. But I think once we got used to it, it was actually all right. It's about four weeks ago, got the news that we were going we to do this live stream and get it going. And it's just such a massive relief and it's so amazing it's so fun seeing all the lighting and and the cameras getting ready in the stage for the first time it's just oh it's crazy the school hopes teacher assessments will form part of next summer's delayed gcse's and a levels and it doesn't think calls to shut schools during this second lockdown are justified we've had a number of cases of students testing positive so far this term and in every case we've been able to uh, stop the transmission before it gets to any other student so at the minute it feels safe to be here. It feels like our mechanisms are keeping children safe. And while that's the case, the cost to their education of asking them to go home and the cost to their well-being and the cost to the community who would have to look after them would be so high uh, that we're determined we, we want to stay open as long as we possibly can. It's been a time like no other. This school is proud at how its pupils continue to take new challenges in their stride. Richard Daniel, BBC Look East, Haverhill.